G'day, this is Mr. Thompson. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Equation Editor in Microsoft Word to write chemical formulas and chemical equations. All right, so let's say I wanted to write the formula for copper sulfate. So the chemical formula for copper sulfate is, now we all know it's CuSO4. Um, so there's a couple of ways I could do this. So uh, probably the most obvious way is just to type CuSO4. And then that little four there, that needs to, well, it's not a little four, it needs to be a little four, it needs to be a subscript. So I could select that and then I could come back here and I could click on the subscript button. Okay, um, so that's that's completely fine. Um, let me show you another way using Equation Editor, and I think you'll find, I find, Equation ed Editor is easier, um, and, and particularly if you're doing whole equations, but even if you're doing formulas. So let me show you how I might do that using Equation Editor. To get into Equation Editor, uh, we press Alt and then Equal. So hold down Alt and hit the Equals uh, key like that. And we've started Equation Editor. So you can see we've got some uh, uh, some tools up here in the toolbar that we can use uh, with Equation Editor. Uh, so by all means, go and explore those tools. Uh, they're very useful. Um, however, if you learn how to use Equation Editor with a keyboard, uh, it's a lot quicker. So, uh, so all I've done so far is press Alt Equals to start Equation Editor. Now I'm going to type C-U-S-O. Now, instead of just 4, I'm going to type underscore 4. So underscore 4, that underscore is code for Equation Editor that says whatever comes next, make that a subscript. So C-U-S-O underscore 4. As soon as I press either Enter or Spacebar, I'm just going to press Spacebar. It uh, doesn't matter which one you do. Enter or spacebar that converts that underscore four into four with a subscript. Now I can just click somewhere else or I can use my right arrow key, uh, right arrow key to get out of the equation editor. Put my full stop in. There we go. The chemical formula for copper two sulfate is CuSO4 uh, using equation editor. Okay. So that's how we might write a, um, a chemical formula with a subscript. Let's look at a superscript. So let's have a look at this. Uh, a copper 2 plus iron is written as. Now when we write the symbol for copper 2 plus, uh, we write, let me go into equation editor again, editor again, all equals. We write Cu, and now we'd like a little 2 and a little plus up the top as a superscript. So uh, the symbol there for um, superscripts is uh, the caret key, which is just above the 6. So if you press shift 6, that gives you a little caret key. So Cu, now here's a little trick. If I go 2 plus, it's not going to do what I really wanted, is it? Well, all it's done is it's done, it's done Cu. The 2 is put in a superscript, but it hasn't put the plus in as a superscript. So let's, change, let's go back and I'll show you how to fix that. So if I did Cu, now if I do caret again, uh, but this time instead of doing 2, a plus, if I open some brackets and do 2 plus, close the brackets, now when I press my space bar, uh, it'll take everything inside those brackets, without the brackets, and make those a superscript. So CU, caret, 2 plus, press the space bar, that's what we wanted. Uh, now I use my right arrow key to get out of the equation editor. So a copper 2 plus iron is written as CU2 plus. All right, so let's look at writing a full equation then. Let's do that. So we want to write uh, copper plus silver nitrate goes to silver plus copper nitrate. I want to do that as, uh, as, a, as a chemical equation. So again, Alt equals will get me into equation editor. Uh, now, because I actually haven't written any text yet, let's put the equation right in the middle of the page. I could justify that if I want, but let's, let's just leave it there. Okay, uh, so copper, CU. Uh, now, actually, I want to write my little subscripts which say what state the copper is in. So, for example, <laughs> copper is solid, so uh, let me write underscore. Uh, now, brackets, S. So, that's interesting. What do you think that's going to do? Let's see what happens. It's not going to do quite what we want. There we go, C-U-S. So, what it did was it took everything that was in the brackets but not the brackets and made that as a subscript. I actually wanted the brackets in the subscript. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here now after the, afterwards and just add my brackets back in. There we go. Added my brackets back in. Now use the right arrow key um, to uh, move out of that subscript. Uh, now, so copper as a solid plus 
Okay, silver nitrate. A G N O subscript. Oh, not O. N O. Uh, now subscript three. I'm going to write as underscore three. Uh, space. There we go. A G N O three. Oh, now I also would like that to be aqueous. A Q because that's dissolved in water. So uh, again, I'm going to use subscript again. There's a couple of ways of doing this, but I'll do it like this. Underscore. Oh, now I'm not going to fall for that trick that I did before. So um, what if I put two sets of brackets? Let's try that. A Q bracket bracket. And what I'm guessing that will do is that will uh, keep one set of brackets only when it turns it into a subscript. Can you see why I did that? Very good. Okay. Uh, now I need the right arrow key. So I could come up here and look for the right arrow key symbol. Uh, there it is uh, over there. Now here's, here's, a, here's a good little trick. Um, if I want to use that right arrow key symbol, if I hover over it and see that little text that's come up, uh, right arrow. Um, so there's now some keyboard shortcuts I could use for a right arrow. Um, so I could use backslash two if I wanted to, or I could use backslash right arrow, or I could use hyphen uh, greater than sign if I want to. Any, any of those will work. So let's go and try it. Let's go back over here and try that. So if I go backslash two, spacebar, it creates an arrow for me. Excellent. Okay, so copper as a solid plus silver nitrate dissolved in water. That's aqueous. Goes to, okay, silver as a solid. So underscore two lots of brackets, solid space. So silver as a solid. Plus, okay, now I want copper nitrate. So C, oop, not that, C, U. Uh, now I want nitrate. Now I need nitrate in brackets. So N, O, underscore three. Close my brackets. Now I want, need an underscore two, underscore two, because that's my formula for copper nitrate. Uh, now I also want my copper nitrate to be aqu aqueous. So let's do underscore bracket brackets, A, A Q, brackets, brackets space bar. There we go. Copper plus silver nitrate goes to silver plus copper nitrate. Oh, I'm not quite finished. Need to balance that, don't I? What have I got? One copper over this side, one copper over that side. That's good. One silver over this side, one silver over that side. That's good. One nitrate here, two nitrates there. That's a problem. So I need to put a two over here. Uh, now that's given me two silvers over here and two and one silver there. So I need two silvers there. Now I think I'm balanced. Let's see. One copper, one copper, uh, two silvers, two silvers. That's good. Uh, two nitrates because I've got a two there. So that's two nitrates. And here I've got two nitrates as well. So I'm, I'm balanced. Okay. Okay. I think that's enough for this video. Um, but I think you'll uh, agree that uh, once you get used to Equation Editor, and particularly once you've memorized some of those keyboard shortcuts, you can very quickly, using the keyboard only, enter uh, chemical equations very professionally, very quickly. Uh, if you're interested in Equation Editor and some of the other features uh, that you can use Equation Editor for, uh, for example, some more mathematical sort of stuff, or using Greek letters or other symbols, have a look through some of my other videos. If you go onto my channel, you'll see there's a, a bunch of short videos on how to use Equation Editor. I hope you'll find them useful and I hope you found this one useful.